A little known but influential chapter in the history of space exploration took place in the 1930s. Before the age of rockets and artificial satellites, high altitude balloons carried explorers and their scientific instruments into the heavens. Their experiments provided data that would help uncover some of the mysteries of the atmosphere and of outer space. One mystery of particular interest to scientists was that of cosmic rays, the high energy subatomic particles that originate from distant stars and shower the Earth at nearly the speed of light. In order to find out what these rays are, one of the best methods is to send up balloons with measuring instruments which will record or measure the rays at near the top of the atmosphere. The balloon which we have here is one which is designed to send back as it arises toward the top of the atmosphere a record of the strength of the cosmic rays at different altitudes. The balloon will carry a barometer, a thermometer, and an instrument for measuring the strength of the cosmic rays. The records of these instruments will be sent back as a modulated wave on about 20 meters wavelength to a receiving instrument that we have here on the ground. This receiving instrument on the tape will have all of the records that we require for making these measurements. By this type of measurement, we can make observations at any part of the Earth. Measurements by man-carrying balloons or by recording balloons can only be made in latitudes where there is a large area uh, over which it is possible to come down safely. Near the poles of the Earth or near the equator, it is difficult to find a region where it is possible to make a safe flight. The dangers of crude balloon research manifested during the flight of an army aircraft named Explorer when the hydrogen-filled balloon ruptured and exploded mid-flight. The crew abandoned their fallen gondola and parachuted to safety, but this harrowing experience did not discourage Captains Anderson and Stevens from flying again the following year. In collaboration with the National Geographic Society, Explorer 2 took off from South Dakota, carried by a much safer helium balloon, to a record-setting altitude of more than 72,000 feet, or nearly 14 miles above the Earth. In addition to collecting scientific data on cosmic rays and other subjects, the Explorer crew also captured groundbreaking aerial photographs, including the first ever image of the curvature of the Earth. The success of the Explorer 2 expedition demonstrated the survivability of high altitude travel and helped set the stage for the NASA missions of future decades, such as Mercury, Apollo, and Voyager, all of them boldly going further and further from the safety of solid ground.